This Kelloland Living segment is sponsored by Physicians Vein Clinics, where they believe vein disease doesn't have to control your life. Book a free screening so you can get back to the activities you love. Take a look down at your legs right now. Are you living with painful blue or bulging leg veins? Maybe you've noticed that the skin on your legs has become scaly and discolored. And if you're tempted to chalk it all up to just part of the aging process, our next guest is here to change your mind about that. Dr. Lauren L. Hansen is the owner and medical director of Physicians Vein Clinics in Sioux Falls. He's here with information on how to decide whether those muscle cramps or heavy, achy, painful legs could be a sign of serious vein disease and why treatment virtually guarantees relief, even if you've been suffering for decades. Welcome. Well, thank you for having me, Ashley. With vein disease, how, how often are people really suffering a lot longer than they need to? Believe it or not, it actually, if you look at some studies, it shows that they, up to 40% of people actually have underlying vein disease. And I know you talked a lot about the patients that have the big bulgy veins and stuff like that, or they have all the skin changes and stuff like that. That's late stage stuff. So believe it or not, we can have people with very little visible veins and they still have underlying vein symptoms. Those are the pains, patients that will have like pain, aching, heaviness, swelling sometimes, fatigue. You know, they feel like they get home from work and they just want to put their legs up. They, you know, it's affecting their life. You know, they don't want to do things with their kids or their grandkids. You know, they just want to get home and put their legs up. You know, I think that for a lot of people, you do chalk it up to other things though, right? Like, oh, I'm getting mm -hmm. older or while well, I spent all day on my feet or just it was busy and I, I did too much, right? And we hear that all the time. It's like, I'm old. Well, that's not necessarily true. Believe it or not, I've worked in 94 year olds and it's actually a lot of fun. But you know, you do have patients that have those symptoms and they do, they just chalk it up to, you know, I was on my feet all day long. You know, I, I basically didn't do anything other than just stand all day long, that kind of stuff. And so what happens is that things just kind of curtail or just kind of prolong themselves and go over and over and over. And then it just, over time, it just gets worse though. So let's dive into some of those symptoms and signs mm -hmm. of vein disease a little bit more to help mm -hmm. people understand what they're actually looking at. Mm -hmm. Well, again, like we talked about, it's not always what you see, but it's the symptoms, which is your pain, aching, heaviness, swelling, fatigue. Believe it or not, significant studies show patients with restless leg syndrome have underlying vein disease. As high as 80% of those patients actually have vein disease. So we have a lot of people out there who suffer from restless legs that should get a screening from us just to see if they have underlying vein disease. Not all will. But then there's also a lot of patients who will say, I've got swelling in my legs, and then I may have, maybe have that heaviness and fatigue, but they have this swelling and they go to their doctor and their doctor puts them on a water pill or, you know, and so, and that sometimes helps. But those patients also should be screened for underlying vein disease because swelling is a very common problem that's associated with vein disease. So you can see these things can be very subtle and over time they just kind of get worse and worse. Well, my preference is to catch people earlier in the disease versus later because we do have some patients that have really large varicose veins. I mean, their entire legs are basically varicose veins. You know, we have some that have ulcers on their legs that we, that we can fix. You know, so a lot of pigmentation changes. So all of these things kind of add up over time and it just gets worse. And I think it's better to do it early than wait till it's so far gone. Maybe you can explain the vein system a little bit okay. more and that may help us understand mm -hmm. too how you can treat okay. this issue, these yep. issues. So uh, here we've got a picture of the veins in our legs. These are the primary veins. We actually have miles of veins in our legs. It's not an exaggeration if you look at the microscopic ones, but we have these big veins that are called truncal veins. If you look kind of the purplish color ones are actually called the deep veins. They do 95% of the work. They actually are in the muscle. So the difference between deep veins and superficial veins is just simply location. So then what you have is the system that 95% is done by the deep veins, about 5% with the superficial veins. The most common problem is the superficial veins, and those are the ones that you see the big varicose veins or spider veins, those are all superficial. And then we can dive in a little bit more, maybe and understand um, with some of the, the venous system to mm -hmm. how that relates. Well, the, the arterial system is what actually brings blood away from the heart. Veins take blood back toward the heart is the easy way to think of it. Okay. They're low pressure, so they need a little bit of help. So we've got to remember, gravity is always trying to pull blood down, right? So in this case, you're looking at the graphic here, and on the left side, it actually talks about the, the normal system. There's some valves in there, and the valves help blood continue to go up as 
gra or the blood gets pushed up, then gravity tries to pull it down, and then the, the actually the little valves meet in the middle and stop the blood flow. But if you look at the right side, that's what's showing is, is that the ring and the valve no longer work, so then blood can go the wrong direction, which can lead to the symptoms and chronic inflammation, chronic swelling, the pain, aching, having a swelling, fatigue, restless legs, and muscle cramps. <laughs> you know, one thing that strikes me is the things I've heard you talk about, particularly restless leg syndrome, I've always heard that that's something people kind of feel like is not really that treatable or mm -hmm. fixable. Yeah. And along with other things you've said, it yeah. looks like getting at least screened for it yes. you could actually be treatable. Yes, exactly. We have, I have treated hundreds of patients with restless leg syndrome. Sometimes it goes away completely. Sometimes it improves. I've never had a patient that it didn't improve. You know, I had a gentleman from one of the satellite clinics and you know, he was in his, he, I think he was around 85 or 87, and he couldn't sleep at night at all. We fixed his veins, and he now gets a great night rest. So what does treatment look like? You know, it's actually pretty simple. The nice thing is, is that we don't have to do in the hospital, so you don't have to undergo general anesthesia. We have our own patients drive to the clinic and drive home. So everything's done in the clinic. The primary thing that we'll do is, is something called endovenous radiofrequency ablation, which means that we put a little catheter up inside, generally starting just below the knee, and we put it up in the primary vein, which is called the great saphenous vein. That's the most common vein to be a problem. And then we'll put some numbing medicine around it. Most people we would rate the pain on that part of it as a two to a four out of 10, okay? okay? So very tolerable. So we don't have to give them a bunch of anesthesia or knock them out to do that. Then once we have that numbing medicine in place, then we actually will heat the vein up and close it. So that's the primary. Now, if we get some patients with the big massive thumb size veins that you see on their legs, we'll do something called an ambulatory phlebectomy. Again, just local anesthetic. We don't have to knock them out. We don't have to take them to the operating room. Again, drive themselves to the clinic and drive themselves home, or they can even go back to work. And so what we do is just little pokes in the skin and we pull the veins out. Sounds a little worse than what it is, <laughs> but it's actually very good to get things faster and get them done faster. And then we'll do some injectable stuff after that to clean up the veins that you can't get from the phlebectomy or you can't get from the radiofrequency ablation. And even if you can't see that right now, but you're having any mm -hmm. of those symptoms, it's worth getting screened because you can yep. still do something about it. Exactly. You know, what we tell patients is we do offer free screening, but we also do the consultation. So a free screening is those patients that have restless leg syndrome, but they don't, and maybe some of those other symptoms, but they really don't need to do, you know, they don't have the big varicosities yeah. and stuff like that. And we just aren't 100% sure if it's worth it. So so those patients, I'd say, set up a, the free screening and then we'll know. So those patients that we talked about with just yeah. edema, you know. And if they really swelling. know, then they can go right to the Exactly. Doctor. So if you have that patient who's got all the symptoms or they've got a big ulcer yeah. on the inside of their ankle, they've got they the big know, veins. They know, they need to see you. Yep, then come see us for a consultation. Well, thank you so much for joining me. You bet. It was a great, great day. Yeah, thanks. Physicians Vein Clinics knows you don't have to let vein disease control your life. Their board-certified vein physicians perform the most advanced procedures for effective but minimally invasive treatments with no side effects and no downtime. In Sioux Falls, the number to call is 605-274-0217. You can also book an appointment online at physiciansveinclinics.com by selecting the location nearest you. With five specialty trained providers across their 12 practice locations in South Dakota, Iowa, Minnesota, and North Dakota, your free vein screening is only a phone call or website click away. Doctors Lauren L. Hansen, Darren Chester, Elizabeth Gavin, Mia Miller, and certified physician assistant Devani Suter would all be happy to take you through a screening and discuss the next steps to relief, to relief for those heavy, achy, painful legs. This Kello Land Living segment has been sponsored by Physicians Vein Clinics, where they believe vein disease doesn't have to control your life. Book a free screening so you can get back to the activities you love.